This is Joseph Coco. I'm at MTAC 2017 on behalf of Becky Holburn's Art Process Blog. Keep on trucking, Natto Soup. If you could introduce yourself, please. Um, hi, I'm Gina. I run Tangled Beasties, which is my art booth name. Um, I go to a lot of cons around the Midwest. Um, and this is my first time at MTAC. Okay. And Tangled Beasties is just you or it's um, other artists? Um, it's just me. I, did, I knew I didn't want to use my name to sure. like brand myself. Uh, so I'm, I picked that. It uh, doesn't really have a meaning to it. I just wanted to That's sound fine. Cool, Not a suit doesn't have a whole lot of a story behind it either. Yeah. And everyone <laughs> tends to ask. So I understand. So what's bringing you to MTAC this year? Well, I... Uh, I always enjoyed MTAC as an attendee, um, so I decided to table here this year. Um, this is my first time and I've heard really good things about it and I was drawn to like the small amount of artist tables here, yeah. so I figured it, it would be good sales and so, far so, so yeah. far so good. They fill up in terms of attendees every year and the artist alley doesn't grow uh, yeah, right. for various reasons that uh, I think we've discussed in other interviews so if anyone's curious about that you can look through blog posts or other interviews but um, yeah it, it's definitely a great con uh, so how long have you been doing the con circuit I know you said you're trying to turn it into a little bit of a full-time gig um, like what what got you started on that path and how long have you been doing this uh, I did my first, well, I guess my first convention was back in 2012. Um, I did really poorly there, so I took a break for a few years and then started again in 2014 and uh, with like a new table display and new art and I did a lot better. So yeah. I've been doing, um, I've been doing a, a, at least a few cons a year since 26, uh, 2014 and um, now I'm at about eight to 10 cons a year. Um, and uh, so roughly every month. Yeah, about. Um, I do a little, a few more in the summer, obviously, yeah, that, and a few less in the winter. But you although know, it yeah. seems like different people have different times that they consider con season. I yeah. guess it depends on where your stuff sells. Yeah, right. Uh, so, are you mostly doing anime cons or comic conventions? Um, I mostly do anime cons. I've only done a few like comic specific conventions. Um, but I, I feel more comfortable and at home at Anime Con since my uh, my art style is a little more anime yeah, inspired. I can definitely see that. Lots of cutesy things. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, so can you tell me a little bit about your comic? Uh, I guess we can start with Ambrosia. Sure. Um, so this is a web comic that I make. Um, I've been doing publishing it online since about 2014, um, but I've taken a few breaks uh, over the years. Um, it's a queer urban fantasy web comic about angels on a road trip across America, and um, it starts out in the South in Atlanta, and they're going. They're driving to California, so um, I wanted for for fun or for um, work opportunities. Uh, I guess Two entirely different, different things. Yeah. Um, so it, it's uh, the main character um, named Ezra is uh, um, looking for uh, revenge because he was kicked out of the angel realm, and um, so he's on a road trip to like get revenge on the people who wronged him and it's supposed to be like um uh you know like sorry <laughs> oh it's fine it's hard to pitch your own thing sometimes because yeah. it's like you spend so much time with it <laughs> yeah right um I'm sorry i'm really bad at talking <laughs> sure, sure. um so is this your first webcomic uh, yes, um, I haven't. This is my first time publishing anything like really long or doing any really long kind of comic. Um, right now, I have about 80 ish pages finished um, and published nice. online. Yeah, and, um, I mean, it's all in full color, so that's, yeah. that's a lot of work. Yeah. It's, it's digital? Uh, yes, I do it completely digitally because that's the easiest fastest and fastest process. for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, usually, all the other comics I've made have been pretty short, like 
two or three pages at the most. So this is the That's first. the best way to get started. Yeah, right. I mean, rather than trying to take on your magnum opus yeah. right out of the door. Yeah, so, but yeah, so this is the first time I've done anything really long form. And how do you think fans at MTAC have been responding to uh, comics on your table as opposed to like other anime conventions? Would you say it's about the same or are people um, more interested? Uh, so far it's been about the same, but I always I, I always get like a few sales of comics. Um, sure. it, they're not, even though I love making comics, they're not usually my primary seller. Yeah, um, which the I'm fan sure, art is, yeah. <laughs> is what does a lot of the, certainly drawing people towards the booth. Yeah, right. But I definitely get a lot of people talking to me about comics and um, I, uh, this hasn't happened at MTech yet, but I, a few times people have said, came over to my table and said, oh, I read your webcomic, and it just makes me feel so good. Just yeah. like, oh, I didn't know that people read it, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, yeah. Becca, Becca's sometimes a little afraid to look at her stats because yeah. she's like, well, I hope people are reading it and I can pretend like they are if yeah. I just don't look. Right, uh, right. For those of you who aren't familiar, um, Becca's comic, 7 Inch Kara, was recently released as a webcomic, so she's excited about that. Um, so how, how has your table expanded over the past like uh, four to five years? Um, like, what did you start with, and what? Uh, how did you decide to uh, like release more things? Sorry about that. Um, I actually started out selling crafts and like deco den kind of stuff, um, which obviously I'm not selling any of now. Uh, sure. so that was way back in 2012 at my first artist alley table. Um, but uh, then I decided I'm stronger at drawing anyway, so I'll I tried out drawing a few prints. And my first table, I had about like five small, medium, small prints, and maybe like two large ones. People who are not my and, um, come on in here. Now I have like way more. I have so many prints I can't and display them all. Them. Yeah. And have to like switch things out at every con. Well, that's probably good because yeah. I mean, a lot of times people will see a booth and think, well, I've seen them right. at another convention, I'm not going to bother looking at them. Yeah, but right. if you're switching things up, um, they'll probably recognize the style, at least subconsciously, but they they might be more willing to approach you because it's like, oh, new things that yeah, I haven't right. seen. Great. And then um, I also, uh, so I like, I like, I'm a graphic designer by trade and um, I really like making packaging and so I do things a little differently than some artists who like have big boards of buttons. I only sell like all my little buttons. I only sell in packages. Yeah, um, and they're handmade packages. Yes, I uh, I do all the packaging myself. It's a very labor intensive process, but I yeah. think it looks nice, and that's what matters, I guess. Um, they are very cute. The <laughs> packaging and the the products. <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, so my first artist table, I definitely did not have. Like, composed yeah. packaging and everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, as long as your table isn't flat, that's all that yeah, needs right. <laughs> to be done. But yeah, the packaging definitely sells everything. Yeah, thank you. That's something Becca hasn't necessarily invested in, but like she she would prefer. She's not a graphic designer, and she's actually not that good. So she would prefer to just produce more stuff rather than produce packaging. Yeah, definitely. Things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, it works either way, you know. Yeah, it's just whatever you want personally want to do. Yeah, I sure. think you can definitely sell either or. But yeah. Okay, and today is the second day at the convention. Uh, would you say that this has been a good con so far? Well, I actually was not here yesterday. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, we didn't no. get it, or I didn't get a chance to go around. I've got a oh, day yeah. job, so. No, no, I completely understand. Um, yesterday was my uh, senior portfolio show, so oh, I like. Congratulations. Took, thank you. Yeah, so I took the day off of the convention to do that, which is more important, obviously. But um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so I just got here and I set up at like 8 a.m. today. Um, but sales have been pretty good so far. Like, I've only been here for a few hours, but they've been good so far. Okay. And would you have any advice to someone who's considering tabling at MTAC for the first time? Um, for MTAC specifically? Yeah, MTAC specifically. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know because yeah, this is my first time. Yeah, I don't have enough. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. It caught <laughs> no, you a little too fine. early, I guess. Yeah, no, it's all good. But um, uh, yeah, I, I guess be prepared uh, to maybe not get a table because it's a lottery jury system so yeah. it's like completely random who gets in so don't count on getting in like as you would for like a full jury 
you mentioned. Yeah, or also something. the artist alley is small, like you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, so it's very competitive. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, I did want to ask you a little bit about your charms. Uh, sure. Where, like, what's your process for those? Where are you getting them? Are you making them yourself, or are you getting them professionally uh, printed? Um, so I I draw all the art myself, obviously, of but. Um, I uh, get them professionally made at a few different uh, manufacturers. Um, for these specifically, I got them done at Zap Creatives, which is a UK-based char manufacturer, and I do other stuff too. Yeah. And then um, these uh, glittery ones I got done at Acorn Press, which is a US-based place, and they have a lot of... Um, like interesting ac acrylic materials uh, that like the glittery stuff and they also have like glow in the dark and iridescent kind of acrylics to use so I really like them because they have such a wide variety of stuff um, and then so I get them manufactured there and then they send them back to me and I assemble I uh, like put the jump straps rings and, and jump rings on okay cool. yeah um and I where can we find your work online uh, yeah, so you can find me on Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, and Etsy uh, at Tangled Beasties for all of those. And um, I'm most active on Tumblr and Instagram at the moment. Okay, well, it was great talking to you. I hope Thank you have you. a good impact. Thank you. It was nice talking to you, too.